Hello there everyone and welcome back to House Duradon. Let's go ahead and see what has happened. Right, start off with as many as two messages, I believe. There King Duran, the uh, sixth of the Stormlands. You will be happy to hear that I've reduced uh, Dane to a single city. I would like to buy Yornwood Castle since it sits across the valley with um, which is the most uh, natural and easy, easiest reinforcement route for my army uh, army access. What do you consider a fair p price to be King Boars? And then House Bolton, interesting. Greetings to you, Storm Storm Kings of the South. Storm King of the South. Uh, Tis the northern chill that reaches down to approach thee. We have heard of your great kingdoms. Um, yes, my great kingdoms. And wish to start diplomatic talks. If nothing else, at least to further our people's way of life and create a bond that will last between the kingdoms throughout throughout trade and the like. Well wishes to you and your kin. Dread King Roderick of Dreadfort. Um yes. A prize for Yornwood. I'm not sure. What would I what would I consider a good prize for Yornwood? The thing is, it's got a harbor. Um it's got a siege work. It's got a sept. Um it give it gets me 867 a turn. How many people live here? Um, can I see that somewhere? Here we go. Population 5,000. 4,000. How is that in comparison to say the capital 10,000? 5,000 is quite a big big city. But at the same time I don't want to you know, skin the bastard alive by um, selling it in a completely crazy price um, I think it's best for the spies since we're gonna head up north afterwards to move down here um, still thinking about the price though oh he's actually blocking that the route there oh wait it's still controlled by some house hmm. strange um Nymeria, hmm, the one that came across from the sea. Um, hmm, what will I consider a good price? And here they are laying besiege to that castle. We're gonna continue further down through here. A good price for that. I'm not sure what I would put as a price. Um, I, I had already talked in some videos about giving it to him, just giving it outright, but, um, so, uh, what would be a good price for that city? It gives me 800 a turn, so, um, I mean, 10 turns, that would be 8,000, but that's way too much to ask for him. Half, maybe, 4,000? Or um, maybe less, 2,000 coins that I could invest somewhere. Um, we're probably looking at the deal. It's a deal that... Um, do we have a lord of this area? I don't think we do. Can I recruit troops there? Yes, I can. Let's recruit some that can replace these two from holding this area. Um, and then, yes, this and that. Um, so and so.
And then this army, we're gonna leave some troops here. But the rest is gonna march with this army. So we're gonna leave two units. And then we're gonna recruit some in there to hold it down. But we're gonna leave two for now. A balanced production. Um, Easter Marsh Levy. We're gonna have some of the men at arms because this is the only place I think I can recruit men at arms. And men at arms are pretty good. And then this army will join, march through, and join um, the others on the other side here, which we have a main, uh, main event, as it were. And um, there's a lot of area out here we don't know, so we already have this guy. This guy is going north, somewhere, up through there. Let's see if we can go through and, you know, just find some cities and stuff going through here, somewhere, into the lands of the Lannisters. Um, and then we got this here. So I do believe that the enemy do not have a lot of troops anywhere, really. We're gonna, no, we're gonna use that. So to repair the castle, though. And then we might to want want to remove this to keep the populace happy because we're going to move a lot of these troops out. Um, the catapult reaches Roseby and Roseby only has a general so we can have a smaller force move to Roseby and seize that while maybe as many as uh, two other forces moving to uh, this wooden keep and this castle over here. Um, to lay them under siege. So let's start with Rosenby then and detach troops for that. So Rosenby, I think this would be min the minimum. Let's put a cavalry unit just in case. And then we'll have that under siege there. And then the rest of these could be split into. Um, we have. And we need we need to leave some as well. We need to leave some as well um, to do the fastest expansion. It would be best to split into. We got three here, and then general, and then two. The general will move towards the most important target, which is out here. Uh, and it'll start get ladders and crap to get up through there. We got a smaller army here, so maybe he needs 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 some kind of reinforcements there. Um, maybe we'll wait until the other army turns up because we got an army here, so we're not sure what what could lie out there. So let's get some more men. I think it maybe would have, be, would have been a bit over ambitious of me to um, to march too many uh, to split this army in two. I can hire some troops. I could hire some troops uh, if I had the money. Um, but once this one turns up, we'll be able to turn that around and uh, we'll help out. It all, it, I think it's quite clearly in our favor, this battle. Uh, let's just go ahead and check. So, faction filter, military ranking, and we're fighting these guys. Yeah, it's quite a big difference. We're up at about 120,000. I don't know if that's supposed to be soldiers, but we outnumber them at a... Uh, uh, at what? What is it? That's uh, three to one, roughly. For every one of our men, there is um, no. For every three of our men, there's one of them. And then the battle we have is this one. 
Hopefully this will work. We had a similar battle earlier where, or the last time, where it crashed. Actually, these 26 men is uh, bound to win just through the outer assault here. Uh, but once I'm able to break down the gate, I will be able to move in and seize the control of this. And, um, yeah. Start deployment. Move the catapult up. We'll have it directly at the gate this time around, unlike last. Pikemen up. Cavalry behind. We're ready. Let's go. Up with the catapult. Up with the pikemen. And up with the cavalry. Let's go ahead and speed this up. And get our men ready to break down the gate and seize this castle. It would be funny if I lost this when I have 300, 360 men. No, 370. Well, fighting men. Um, if we don't count the catapult, it's uh, 360 versus. 26 in a bodyguard, plus we've got these pike men, um, which definitely should be able to uh, kill off that general's unit. And we're through, but we don't, of course, want to get burnt as we move through, so we're going to destroy the gate. So we're going to have that destroyed to make sure that we get in the castle without uh, losing too many men. Or in case losing not a single man in this case. Twenty-five. I think we did this last time around so it should work. Otherwise, I can send one unit ahead of the other one just to capture the gate and make sure that they're not pouring down any uh, blasted hot oils and stuff upon us. I think maybe it's a bit it's a bit cold. It sounds like they're shivering in their armors, or it's just a shield banging against their ass. That makes that sound. Well, it's clearly turned around now. When I, I think a lot of what was um, his advantage was the fact that he uh, was inside the castle. He could have moved up to the side of the wall, and uh, let's put one before the other, and then if in case, nope. There's no oil left. Let's march the pikemen in and have the cavalry come at the side. Can I... Maybe I'll... Let's get the catapult in. See if we can maybe shoot them. If I put a, f a flaming catapult um, ball right in their face, then maybe we should have the cavalry down the street here. I could save a load of my pikemen that stand at the ready here. Hopefully we don't burn any of our own men. I think there's a risk we might, so let's open up a hole in the pike formation in the center for the catapults to fire through. And hopefully we don't burn any of our own men. Let's see how this goes. Surrender now! No, it won't even let you surrender. This is Game of Thrones after all. We just set you on fire. That'll be easier. I might just set my own man here. Let's watch this one closely. No, we missed! Uh, and we didn't set our man own man on fire, so that's good. Come on! Set him on fire! There we go, that's a hit. 
And that took out five of them. Here comes the next one. That was a bit too close, wasn't it? He's just going to stand there and take it. Boom! Another few got burned. Boom! 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 He's not even uh, trying to attack us. Well, yeah, we're done there, so... Advance the pikes. Pikemen! Advance! For the Storm King! Steady pace! And there the pikes contact with the cavalry. You are done for! They're all blooded now. Your friends were slaughtered and burnt alive. And now you fall. One by one, your leader has fallen. I would say surrender, but um, we're just going to go ahead and kill you all. Right, so that was over. We actually, I think it be because we pushed one of the knights so far back, uh, he was able to uh, get this tower to open fire upon us, which killed a few. But it looks like we lost 18 men. A few is going to be recovered after the battle though, so we'll, we'll see how many we lose. We lost 15 men and we took the castle. Gentle mother, front of mercy, save our sons from war, we pray. And Roseby has fallen. Maintain the local elite. Relationship has been turned to the worse. Ah! They had a catapult place here as well. They had a lot of catapult places. And... Uh, we do not have it's either I repair the castle here or I retrain the catapult. But I think we're gonna go ahead and repair this. Oh, we can buy a spy as well. What did I build anything? We could we could go ahead and um, not retrain a unit or something because another spy could do me very well in this area. So, yes, now we want to return the, um, the messengers. What was that? Uh, hmm. Not interested. Uh, let's see. Right. Diplomacy. So let's go ahead and just confirm, uh, to the, um, to the not House Martell, we're gonna have the other one first. House Bolton, I think. Yes, House Bolton were the ones that sent us a message. So, um, greetings, House Dread. Was it Dread King? Greetings, Dread. Greetings, Dread. King. Greetings, Dread King. Um, I, uh, King Duran the Sixth. I spelled the wrong. The Sixth. King Duran the Sixth. Um, 
What was my titles now? King of the Storm. I'm the Storm King. Yes. I, King Duran the Sixth. The Storm. Storm King and Bone Way. That sounds weird. So let's not add that, actually. But I want I want more of those kinds of titles. Um I King Duran the Sixth The Storm King Um Well Come your words. Welcome your words. Let's hope both our uh, futures are right. Greetings, Red King. I, King Duran the Sixth, the Storm King, welcome your words. Let's hope both our futures are bright. Your words. I think it would probably be. Oh, what did I do there? Uh, words. Welcome your words. Okay, that didn't work. Uh, let's hope both our futures are bright. Um, clear, cancel, send. So, uh, let's go ahead and put for. I think the price we're gonna put on Yornwood is gonna be four thousand. We're gonna see what he says about that. Um, but I'm open to other ideas or something like that. Greetings. King Boars. Um, the town, or it's a castle, isn't it? Cas castle of Yorn Wood. Um, The castle of the castle of Yornwood can be yours. It's just about fine. The right price. The right price. Um. The castle of Yorn can, can be yours. It's just about finding the right price. Um, given the infra infrastructure and the fact it has a port. Um, in fact, it has a port. Um, given the, the infrastructure and the fact that it has a port, um, makes me want to put the price as 4,000. Gold. Um, four thousand gold. It might be a bit little. It might might be a bit high. I don't know, but I'm gonna put it at that, and let's hear what he has to say about it. Greetings, King Paul. The castle of Yornwood can be yours. Dun, 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 dun. This car called Yornwood can be yours at the simple price of I should put it like three thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. 
da 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 and you'll get this catapult if you buy it now. Um, makes me want to put the price at six thousand. Oh, draw here from your soon. Maybe hope to uh, hope hope this finds you in good uh, terms and then I'll sign it as the store form king to run the sixth. I spelt storm wrong. King sixth. The storm king to run the sixth. And that should be it. Uh, I don't think I have any other moves. I moved all my characters, my diplomats. I think I, I, I have one spy and then I have three diplomats and I moved all of them. We made our moves here. We took uh, Roseby. We have this one left. We got these three on this side and then we got this one on that side. And that should be it. So we got four places left. Next time we'll be able to attack here, hopefully. Um, of course, gu uh, guaranteeing that this army doesn't rally with something else. And they go ahead and destroy us at uh, Hayford. But we got another army coming in. And later on we'll have this one. I'm not sure, but I might put the king there. And then we'll have the Rand the seventh actually stay here because as you can see Duran the 6th is a lot better at fighting while Duran the 7th is um, better at sort of uh, uh, just um, being in control of the town here so maybe we'll have we'll switch around there because the king is old the king is uh, 71 and it probably means he's gonna die pretty soon. And I mean, my dynasty, if we look at this, my dynasty is not that secure. We got the, the prince then, and he's 44. And he's got uh, Shireen at age seven. And I don't think she can inherit. Maybe she can, maybe she, I don't know, she'll be the storm queen. Uh, but we need to secure our legacy because I mean at this rate I mean s it, a well-placed poisonous goblet or I mean God forbid he doesn't lock the door to the toilet and ends up killed there or um, what else he maybe he goes to the Dothraki and he gets they pour gold molten gold on him or Maybe he get he rapes someone and then he comes back and bites him and his dog is eat him up. Um, uh, let's see what else is there. Maybe he gets his head smashed by the how the mountain. Maybe uh, um, the hound does something. Um, Beric Dondarrion cuts him with a fire sword. You know, there's a lot of nasty things that can happen in the uh, this world so yes anyways let's go ahead and end turn then and uh, now it's up to house gardener to uh, go ahead and do whatever they do so hopefully you enjoy this and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one bye